Conan Mustaine. I'm a general and colorectal surgeon at UAMS. The diverticula are weak spots in the wall of the colon that lead to an outpouching in the wall of the colon. They're usually small, typically less than a centimeter. They're often multiple. Uh, they most frequently affect the left side of the colon, um, the last foot or so before it meets the rectum. Um, and so um, they create weak spots in the wall of the colon um, that in certain situations may perforate. Um, or erode into a blood vessel in the wall. So the two problems that can result from diverticulosis, which is the presence of diverticula in your colon, or the condition of having diverticula, uh, are bleeding from a diverticula that erodes into a blood vessel, or diverticulitis, which is an infection next to the colon as a consequence of a perforation of a diverticula. Diverticular bleeding typically presents as a large amount of uh, bright red blood, um, not typically associated with bowel movements. Um, so hemorrhoidal bleeding is oftentimes, you know, some blood that happens right when you have a bowel movement, uh, some blood that may drip into the toilet bowl afterwards or be on the toilet paper after you have a bowel movement. Uh, a diverticular bleed is typically a dramatic event. Um, you know, patients will start bleeding and pass nothing but blood several times in an hour. Uh, and it usually is an emergency that requires a, you know, a trip to the hospital, at least for observation. Diverticulitis is a condition that you know, is associated with an infection next to the colon uh, as a consequence of a perforation in one of those diverticula. And diverticulitis can run a, a wide spectrum depending on how big the hole is and how your body responds to the hole. Uh, some patients may have a microscopic perforation that allows a small amount of bacteria out of the colon. It can cause some inflammation, some pain, a low-grade fever in the area next to the colon. This oftentimes can be treated with a course of oral antibiotics or sometimes just with observation. Um, patients may have recurrent attacks, um, but it's you know, important to distinguish that not every episode of crampy pain uh, or what may be irritable bowel syndrome uh, you know, may not actually be a true episode of diverticulitis. On the opposite end of the spectrum, patients may develop a, a large hole in the colon that allows stool to spill out of the colon and causes free spillage of fecal matter into the abdomen, which is a surgical emergency and oftentimes requires an emergency operation, washing out of the stool, and sometimes a temporary colostomy bag in order to manage that infection. And then there's all manner of in-between on that spectrum. Sometimes patients may develop a infection that leads to a collection of pus or an abscess next to the colon that may require a drain. Um, and uh, you know, other times it may be something in between. We think that the development of diverticulosis or the development of having diverticula in your colon is associated with a Western diet uh, that's low in fiber. Uh, patients may have a colonoscopy and in their report they'll notice that there's diverticulosis present. Um, there's nothing that they need to do as a result of that. There's no particular foods that they need to avoid. Um, it used to be thought that if you have diverticula present in your colon or if you have diverticulosis, you need to avoid eating seeds or nuts in case they get stuck in a diverticula and lead to diverticulitis. Um, but larger epidemiologic studies have shown that patients with high intake of nuts and seeds don't have a higher rate of diverticulitis than patients who don't. So uh, I don't counsel patients to avoid any particular foods or do anything different when they know that they have diverticulosis. Uh, if you don't have diverticulosis, you can't get diverticulitis. So if you've had a colonoscopy and you didn't have any diverticula present and you get left lower quadrant pain, that's probably not the number one thing on your differential. Uh, if you have diverticulosis and you know you do and you develop classic symptoms of left lower quadrant abdominal pain and a fever uh, and some tenderness there, then there's a good chance it may be an episode of diverticulitis. And colorectal surgery is plumbing. And uh, for the most part, it makes sense uh, if you take the time to explain it to somebody. Um, and um, patients ask a lot of questions, and we're more than happy to answer them. Mm -hmm.